Welcome, today I'm going to show you how to make skinny and doing good in your park in the game Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. To get started, first we need to quit the game. Who am I kidding? So, if you take a look at my park, Triple J World, you beat that it look pretty goof. If you want your park to look pretty goof do I have some suggestions so you can attract all the hot ladies. I mean, make your park look nice. Now, let's say you have an unlimited budget. You do not care at all about getting money. Well, there goes half my audience. This is purely a sandbox park. You have a big flat piece of land like this to work with and your whole focus is to make it look nice. Well, let's start at the beginning. We need to make an eye-catching experience for your people. So we start by creating the booth where they pay for entry. It's only hypothetical, but we like to add a little realism as well. Then past the entrance, we make a big plaza to make our guests feel welcome. It does not need to be huge, but choose your area and in the middle we'll place a fancy fountain and some hedges for good measure. Now for a little different part, placing shops and facilities, then constructing the buildings for them. Every park needs a bathroom, an ATM, first aid, and information kiosk. These things should be placed in obvious places. Next. Choose which food items you like at the main entrance and place them. The hard part is constructing the building. It need not be big. In fact, you'll need space later. Trust me, this plot of land will fill up quickly. Be sure to add many details to your buildings and make all of them in a particular area the same style. I like to add a grid between the wall pieces of my buildings and be sure to give yours multiple layers, like this. Then, add a fancy roof, and if you're feeling extra fancy, try adding an air conditioning unit or signs. So the big things are here, but there's still plenty to do. One of the most simple yet effective ways to make a park look good is by adding trees. Here are groups of trees that I think go well together. Place trees where they work but don't put so many that they cover up your park. Landscaping is also extremely good for skinnery. Look at this completely flat map here. It's boring. So we're going to add some hills. Next to the buildings area, I always build a merry go round. This is the most classic theme park ride, and for good reason. This is what I do. I elevate the ride, then add the entrance, exit, and paths. Then around it, I add small plants and some trees for the corners. And now we have a very fine looking Mary Golden 755. It would be terrible if Mary couldn't go 755. If you like a challenge, try adding roller coaster track above the entrance path to excite thrill seekers as they come in. If you want to add a railroad or monorail to your park, place the first station now and add in the track and more stations as your park develops. If you forget, it would be hard to add a method of transport once your park is landlocked. When in doubt, lower the land and add water to your park. Water looks amazing and even I'm surprised sometimes at how much it could spice up the view from the path. I also like to put a wall here to make the water look clean and good. Don't forget to add some fountains, trees, and terrain features too. Soon I will create videos on how to make roller coasters, but for now, here's how to make them look better. Taking a look at this roller coaster, you'll see that it's completely boring. There's no scenery at all. Well, here's how to do it. The actual layout isn't bad. But here's what I'll do. I'll add a lake where the track goes near the ground. Create a few tunnels, modify the terrain so it goes with the roller coaster, add trees, 
Then here comes our next big lesson, stations. Stations are necessary for each roller coaster. So here's how I build them. If it's on the ground, well, first of all, I tried to avoid stations on the ground, but if it's necessary, I lower the land, then build the floor, usually out of wood or concrete. Then I build a wall around it that gives a good view of the outside. The wall should have two holes in it. That's what she said. Bottom! For the entrance and exit. Now, as classic as these buildings are, they don't really fit into the style of a real park. So, if you don't yet have Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I highly recommend you get it as soon as possible. There's no reason not to. And what's exclusive to Open RCT 2 are invisible entrance buildings. So, go to the Paint tab, select No Entrance, and EXPLOSIONS! I mean, and boom! Right here, we can add an operator's booth, add in the individual queue lines for specific rows of the roller coaster train, and now let's raise the roof. So, we add a roof here, everything doing good, and uh oh, we can't place the roof here because the entrance is in the way, which, considering our options, makes no sense at all. But don't worry, there's a way to cheat. This is illegal. Did I no. freaking ask? We go here, select disable clearance checks, and now things can occupy the same place at once. Just be sure to turn it off when you're not in need of it, or else one day when you're adding trees, you might be in for some situations. So this is the station I built, and now we need to connect it to the main path. The exit path should go directly to it, and then place a no entry sign so idiots don't try to get lost going up the exit. What about me? I need to enter through the exit on the mechanic. Oh yes. Don't worry, you're exempt from the no entry sign. If you made a roller coaster that isn't a family coaster, or if it's a very intense flat ride, I recommend placing a first aid station on the main path next to the end of the exit path. Don't put it behind the sign, so you don't need to ride in order to visit the first aid station. Also, Place benches on the exit path so nausea guests can sit down. Now for the cube path. Bring it down to the ground, add a switchback or two, and use some of the other skinny techniques I showed you to spice up the waiting experience make the guests feel like they're on an adventure. Finally, if you want to be very realistic, take a fence that works with the environment you're in and place it around the parameter of the ride. This is so dumb idiots won't walk in, get hit by the train, and die. So let's complete the fence to keep out all the idiots, and the idiots will pit. Alright, no more Donald Trump wall jokes for the next 10 minutes, alright? So here's the roller coaster before the skinnery transformation, and this is it now. And if you look at the statistics before and after, it shows. Now for wooden coasters, you should try the same things, but there's one additional thing. Support structures. Place them like this next to the track so they don't fall and create $2,000 in damages. But don't worry, that's not supposed to happen in the game. But we're only adding these structures for aesthetical purposes. If there's a section of track that is buried underneath the supports, all the better. Tunnels are also great things to add. Next, about landscaping around a wooden coaster. Try not to let the track touch the ground. It's always better when the supports show. If it does, you can either shorten the drop or lower the land. And that's how you decorate a wooden really coaster. So here's the park we have so far. Now I think it's pretty good. If the guests stop to look at scenery, you're doing well. There are many types of scenery you could choose from. Now I've experimented with each type of biome. The same rules apply. Just make sure you use the appropriate types of scenery, as a birch tree and a jungle tree don't exactly match. Now for food shops. Bathrooms look fine independently, but if you'd like a few types of food stalls in an area, here's how to make it look realistic. First, map out the inside, then add a floor using the land tools. We don't want grass floors! Oh no 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 no! Then, add solid walls where guests can't see outside and windows where they can. 
you can use the poles for window panes. Then, after you have the height to whatever you think looks good, give it a roof. What I'm trying to do is make it look like a house to help the guests relax and eat, get together, and stay out of the sun. Remember, multiple layers. And if you create an outdoor eating area, feel free to add scenery and water to that too. It'll look fancy. Now, it does take a while to master scenery in this game, and that's okay. It can be a little frustrating looking at other people's creations and thinking your scenery pales in comparison, but to review, eye-catching entrance, detailed buildings, landscaping, trees, water, coaster stations, support structures, and small details can really make a difference. But sometimes, you don't need to follow these rules to spice up a park, or you can't afford to. No guide is or ever will be perfect. So the best way to make scenery look good is to make scenery. Practice. Before long, you'll be hired for the art department at the Triple J Parks Company. Whatever you build, figure out what you did right and what needs work. You can also post to Reddit or YouTube for feedback. It could also help, if you can, to go to amusement parks in real life and observe their scenery. This is what I did. We're in! We got past the history! This could be my favorite beat up. It's beautiful! I can't wait! Alright, so this is going to be an unlisted video based on scenery for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This will be part of the video. So I can see here, we are at Hershey Park, Pennsylvania. As you can see here, they have a hyper coaster, hyper twister coaster as their game calls it. And let's see, let's look at this thing. The terrain features, it, it's all completely grassed up, but it's fine. Fountains, kind of milk, fences, fences are good. You want to add fences so idiots don't fall into the track. Unfortunately, there's a trim on this hill right here. Awesome. We'll get to the scenery soon. Hello there! Is it good? I'm talking to you! Say, subscribe to James Schuin! Have you done that? You should subscribe to James Schuin! Yeah! Oh, is it seriously rain? Oh, fountains. Fountains, uh, trees, grass, water, uh, bridges. So these are kinds of features you want to, and station. Take a look at this station and then make your own. Uh, yeah, very nice here. Not the greatest, but we'll take a look at some more. And as you can see around here, uh, there, there's a river going through the park. Water's always nice. And because they're going over it, that's always a good very side. Some fountains would be good. And, and birch and hedges, hedges all over. Awesome. Now here's another thing of scenery you can do. You can divide up the path so that way uh, guests uh, won't get lost in the wide path. And then in it, you can put hedges and trees and such. It looks great. Uh, it, uh, I, I, if you ask me, and benches. Uh, in Roller Coaster Tekken 2, you do this by uh, cutting up the path, putting the bench is, is there, uh, uh, putting a wall like in the middle, placing this path here, and then if you want to, you can delete the wall in the middle. If that made any sense, I might add something at the end of this clip. Um, they're making training here. Uh, and of course, uh, trees and trees and trees and roller coasters uh intimate. sure uh intimate roller coasters with one of the tallest drops i've ever seen and uh pretty pretty good water park there it slaps the uh I, did i say tallest i meant steepest yeah all right well yeah I, I can change my cannonium shirt but then i'll sweat up that one too uh never mind okay many parts of triple j world are inspired by parks I've been to. But at the end of the day, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 allows for creativity, and you should feel no pressure in trying to make your parks look good, as the priority is to have fun. If you think your park looks good, it is. This park right here follows none of the rules I followed, and 
It's beautiful. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to James Stewart. Have you done that? You should subscribe to James Stewart. And soon I will make videos on how to make realistic roller coasters in this game. Focusing on the track aspect rather than the scenery. Have a good day.